today we have the final weekend of Rifle Elk and we also have the opening weekend of late season whitetail deer hunting. So today I'm hunting with one of my uncles and he still has both an elk and a deer tag so today if we see any whitetail buck or any bull elk my uncle has a valid tag for it. On top of that, he has a valid black bear tag and a cougar tag, so he still has the four general big game tags here in Washington to fill, so. Haven't seen much besides those three white-tailed deer that we saw when we first got here. So decided to make a fire and just warm up and dry off a little bit. And we're probably just gonna hunt here all day. This little clear cut that we're glassing, glassing more like just looking at. We've seen some nice bucks pass through here before. So we're just hoping that Sometime today, one of those bucks decides to cross through this little opening right here and gives my uncle a, an opportunity to put him down. But for now, it's just basically relaxing, build a fire, stay warm, and pretty much just wait till the deer get back up from their beds and start roaming again. That's the midday update. Not much is going on, but it sure is relaxing out here. If there's one thing I've learned about late season hunting, bring a jet boil so that you can eat something warm. Whether it's a cup noodle like that one, or just a dehydrated meal that you wanna try out. So I'm telling you guys, if you don't bring a jet boil on just a day hunt in the late season, you're missing out because it really does hit different when you have warm food versus ice cold frozen food.
he's actually a viewer of the channel and we were just talking and literally he spots a group of does coming out of the timber into the clear cuts we glassed them for a bit we, it looked like four does no bucks but the deer seems like they're getting up and moving so hopefully a buck shows up momentarily Not much for today, so we're gonna head back to camp and go eat some food, chat around with the family, see how everybody's day went, and then hit the sack and try again tomorrow. spots and uh, we got a fresh blanket of snow and it covers a lot of old deer tracks so you don't see much tracks but the thing with fresh snow is it covers all those old tracks but all the tracks that you see on top of the snow are really fresh this is a big track but we must have just missed it But we're in a lot of deer signs, so they're around here somewhere.
the afternoon has been pretty dead. We've basically been socked in ever since we got to this spot, but that's because we're basically at the top of the mountain. And so after we eat, we're just gonna drop down into lower elevation because all the fog is lifting. And so basically we're up high, so we're up where the, the fog is lifting. So after we eat, then we're just gonna drop elevation and probably just go find a spot to sit in glass. This right here looked perfect at last, but there's no fresh deer sign and again, you can't see very far. But just a couple days ago, I gave Alpine Air a try. Absolutely hated that first recipe, but decided to give Alpine Air another chance. So today we've got a different recipe. This is the Kung Pao grilled chicken and then Chris is eating the Pad Thai. So kind of anxious because not a first pleasant experience with Alpine Air, but maybe we just chose the wrong one. How is it, Chris? It's not bad? That's, okay, that's good to hear. Doesn't look all that bad. Ooh, that is spicy. Okay. Not bad? Not bad? Okay. I'm gonna give mine another shot. Six point five out of ten. If this was the only option they had at the store, I would buy this again. But if they had some of the other things, like Peak Refill or some mountain houses, I would definitely buy those over this. But gives me a little bit better hope with Alpine Air because, oh man, that that other one I had the other day was just not it. Not bad. the same doe. It could be. The two fawns just ran ahead or something. <laughs> I need to check what time it is. Three twenty. Deer are moving at three twenty. We've been just
the back? At least a floor back. Okay. Yeah. Come on, okay. Yeah. Yep, he's right there. Yep. He's behind a brush. If I yep, if you see him, take him. Put it like two inches above where you would normally aim. Okay. And go past it. Okay? It's the 16th. I'm out here with Nate and Steve. And we're out here trying to fill Steve's general deer tag. So drove out to a spot that we wanted to hunt this morning and sun is coming up right now. We're just gonna hike up to this little knob and then just sit on that knob and just glass around and Hopefully the deer in this area are rutting because if they're rutting we should see some deer and a lot of deer activity but I don't know. We'll just have to give it a shot. It's extremely cold this morning. No snow but it's, a, it's just dry cold.
we're gonna get whited out here pretty soon. It's already sticking. High winds too. We'll see how this goes. This mountain storm just rolled in and it's windy too. Well, we're gonna go for a grouse, but we'll see here. I've uh, tried to stock in on like four, more like chase them after. We spooked them and they've all been unsuccessful. But uh, we'll see here. I haven't shot the small game tip in a while, so it could be interesting. <laughs> all right, I'm on rangefinder duty. Let's try and get to 30. That's a fat grouse, Nate. Ooh, right in front. I missed it. You're just to the right of him. Hey. <laughs> your your broadhead or your Dude, tip made a spark. spark. <laughs> wow, you're so close. Oh. Like you're just like right to the right of it. Did it ricochet up? Huh? I didn't see where it went. Walking on the road we were coming in. Pack of wolves just held across the creek. Welcome to Northeast Washington. That's probably why we didn't see a single deer, right? You you blame the wolves, not our poor hunting skills. Yeah. It's probably a good time to blow it like a distress call. Like a <laughs> fond distress yeah. call. Yeah. That was pretty cool. All the wolves. There's three across right here. And there are some on the back side of this ridge. That's beautiful sounding though too. Dude, it's mm -hmm. like it's it's beautiful and it's, creepy it's and kinda like, eerie. Yeah. yeah. Like you instantly know it's not a coyote. Remember yeah. how we were talking about it? Yeah. Like you know it's yeah. not a coyote. Wow. It's just cool. You hear that all the time up here. It's always It's nice with like three of us. Yeah. You don't want to be out here alone hearing that. that. 